Matty Dewey's with us, Holy Redeemer. Uh, we're talking track and field. We got to talk to your your teammate over there, Anna. And uh, she said, hey, she goes, you know, we, we were enemies when we were younger. I said, well, what if she says, now you're still enemies? Of course you wouldn't, but talk a little bit about, you know, uh, having the friendships, growing friendships, and somebody you see in sixth grade and what they're like in ninth grade as a senior, it all changes. But talk about the, the growth with these young ladies here at Holy Redeemer, your teammates. Yeah, so anyone, um, you know, coming into high school is immature. I mean, you're a freshman, you don't really know much. I still don't know much as a senior. I still have a long way to go. But definitely in friendships, teammates, we've seen so much growth and maturity uh, progress throughout the different seasons and just being able to be together all the time, practice together, you know, like sweat, tears, all of that together really makes a good team and that's what how we became so close. The camaraderie here at Holy Redeemer with the track and field program is one of the best you, you could see. You just see how close you are, the bus rides, the trips, the you know, you guys are eating pasta or whatever you're doing to try to prepare. Talk a little bit about what that's been like for you over your career. Yeah, so it's like no other. Obviously, I've always been part of the Redeemer family. I didn't go to, like, I didn't transfer. I've always been in the Catholic school system, so I'm really blessed for that. But I know we see other teams when we um, do our huddles or, like, any of that before races, even during cross country. And we always have like our little chants or like our little rituals before we race. And you can always see the other teams like looking over, being like, what are they doing? Or what is that about? And then try to maybe mimic it, but it's never, it's not the same. And so I think I'm really blessed to be part of such an amazing team. What about the events you compete in? Talk about what your favorite event is. And you know, Anna's like, listen, I actually really love the relays because there's so, so much to it. But you know, some people really like individual events as well. Yeah, so I really love the relays as well. I feel like, um, just doing it for my team is what gets me through the race. If it's uh, a bad day, because we all have bad days, and knowing that you're gonna pass the baton to a teammate just makes it so much easier. Um, but I race the 400 meter, the 800 meter, and the four by eight and the four by four. Um, but just the four by four and the four by eight are going to states. Um, but I would much prefer the relay than an individual event as well. How about all the training over the years? I mean, your, your senior season, when you reflect back, and say, well, you know, in, in this grade, I was just kind of learning to run. I go off a mile around, I'd be tired or, you know, whatever. Talk a little bit about that development over time. And now it's like, yeah, I go for a five mile run. It's like nothing. <laughs> yeah, so I actually didn't start running until my freshman year um, when Coach Nick, he wanted me to come out and try the four by eight because I need another leg. And he thought I would be a strong um, member of the team to be able to do that. And so I came out and I ended up really, really liking it. And I had played field hockey um, in seventh and eighth grade and that was what the fall season sport was for me. So I switched over cross country 10th grade and just continued running after that. But I never pictured myself running. When I played field hockey, my, my coach would always say to me, cause I'd always get to the ball first. I wasn't that good cause I didn't have the technique for it, but I would always get to the ball first, which means that I'd be able to pass it to somebody else. So that was a great, um, you know, thing for me to be able to do. And she would look at me and she'd be like, do you run? Like, do you run a sport? And I'd be like, no, why would I ever do that? Like, <laughs> what do you mean? And she'd be like, okay, and just kind of brush it off. But looking back at that, I think that's so funny because I never even imagined that I would be running as a sport, let alone be going to the state level in it. Next step for you, Penn State University. Talk about why Penn State and what you're gonna study. Um, so I'm currently undecided, but I decided on Penn State because I don't, <laughs> It kind of checked off all the boxes. I loved the big school environment. Um, it's not too, too far from home. I looked at some schools in the south because I really like the warm weather and the, the schools down there. But at the end of the day, I just checked off all the boxes and I'm super excited to be going. Great answer, I love it. Uh, your excitement for Shippensburg University with these other teammates here at Holy Redeemer. Um, I'm so excited, I'm beyond excited. We have two younger girls on our relay teams, Lauren and Lexi, who've never gone to the state level in track. I think Lexi's been there for cross country, but Lauren has never, even though she's a fantastic field hockey player, their team has never been able to get to that level. So just the environment, no matter what sport it is at the state level is unlike any other. And I think to be able to bring younger teammates to help them there is just really, I mean, that's, a, that's all you can ask for. How about your family? Talk a little bit about the support you get there. Yeah, my dad, my grand, my mom, biggest supporters I could ask for. Um, they're always, you know, at every meet, 
support I can always hear them like videos they take it's just always them yelling them in the background and I couldn't do it without them I mean I've had a lot of injuries you know I've had to go to a lot of like therapy and they're always just backing me on that even just like the other day I had an ingrown toenail and even just like a minor thing and my grandma's like let's get it taken care of right away so it doesn't affect districts like just they're always on top of everything and always there to back me well, we appreciate you sharing your story with us. Thank you for having me. wish you the best going forward, both at Chippensburg and at Penn State. Thank you so much.